How the heck do I connect a solar charge controller to a battery that only has one connection? How the heck do we charge lithium iron phosphate batteries from your car? I'm going to show you how this time on KMRD Radio Stuff. Guys, if you have an amateur radio related question you want to have answered, shoot me an email k at mrd at icloud.com and just in the subject put mailbag Monday. Guys, we've got a couple great questions involving batteries today, so let's dive right in. This first question is talking about how to connect a battery to a charge controller when you only have one connection point. He's asking, I have a BioNO battery. It has the spade connectors uh, versus the version of the battery that has both the power pole connection and the DC power plug. We're going to skip ahead a bit. Uh, the way my battery is currently set up, is there a way to connect a solar panel via a charge controller and the FT891 at the same time so I can be charging the battery at the same time the battery is running my FT891? Is it as easy as connecting the charge controller and the FT891 to the lugs at the same time? Yeah, it kind of is. We just need to make a special wiring harness to do that. So let's hop over on the bench and I will show you exactly what I'm talking about. So what he's talking about is a battery like this where you've got these spade connectors. Now typically, you're going to use some kind of wiring harness like this to power your battery. What we need to do is make a wiring harness that has two leads coming out of here. Pretty easy. So the first thing we want to do, make two lengths of red and black wire. Go ahead and strip them and we're going to twist together this end. And we're going to insert it into a spade connector. Give it a good squeeze, and that takes care of one part. Let me repeat for the negative. So now we have two leads that will be coming off of our positive and negative. Let me go ahead and strip the other side. Attach our power poles. Insert them into the housings. I don't know if this power pole tool is worth it. I feel like I did just fine with a screwdriver all these years. Now we can attach our leads. Let's go ahead and connect them together. Proper way, red, right, tongue up. If you wanted to, you could even link them together like that, okay? So now we can take a charge controller and connect it there. And we can take the other lead for our radio, connect it there, and then you're going to plug your solar panel into here. Unfortunately, it is a cloudy day, so I'm not going to do that. And then your radio to the other side. And whatever power is going to come in is going to charge the battery. Whatever power you're taking is going to be used by uh, the, the solar will supplement some of that, and whatever else it needs, it will take from the battery. Easy peasy. So hopefully that helps shed some light on that question and hopefully you can get to charging and discharging at the same time with solar. So let me know if you have any more questions. Great question though. Next, we have another question about charging lithium iron phosphate batteries. This time we're asking, I have a question about charging a LifePo battery from a vehicle power source. I'm looking for an alternative to solar or AC in case these sources aren't available. I currently have a Rig Runner 4005 in my vehicle that I run my radio and other things off of. Is there a way to charge the battery through the Rig Runner or another DC to DC method? I don't think you'd want to run it directly through the Rig Runner. Uh, I would probably make a uh, wiring harness like we did with the last question, uh, but to actually charge from your DC power source from your car, I've got a few options for you. So let's hop over on the bench, I'll show you what I'm talking about, and then we'll run out to the car and we'll put it into practical use. The first is a new product to hit the market as of this year to my knowledge. This is the Paradan Radio Mobile Lithium Battery Charger. This is a three amp charger, comes with a cigarette lighter socket. I have everything power pole in my car, so I'm gonna be using an adapter to make this happen when we go outside, but hopefully you'll get the idea. Uh, and this will just take, it's, it's a buck converter, so it's going to take your, you know, roughly 12.8 volts from your car battery, boost it up to 14.2 volts and charge your lithium iron phosphate battery with up to 3 amps of current. The other option, and probably the cheaper option, you might actually have this lying around, get yourself an inverter. Again, I've got power poles on mine, I'm going to show you several ways to hook this up. With the inverter, you can actually take 
your regular lithium iron phosphate charger and hook that up to your battery. So let's run out to my car and I will show you how we're gonna hook both of these up and get our batteries charged. Now it should go without saying, unless you wanna run your car battery down, you should definitely have your car running while charging these batteries in any of these methods. Now let's take a look at how to hook up the Paradan charger first. Now if we look under my seat, I have basically made my own power pole distribution block of sorts. So that's what I'm gonna plug everything into, but again, the Paradan has a cigarette lighter output. You can make jumpers that go from cigarette lighter to power pole, you can do all sorts of things, but this is how we can charge off of our car. So all I need to do, plug this in. Now we can take a look, we're showing 14.2 volts, and we can go ahead and plug this into our battery. You can see we're getting three amps out, and the voltage on the battery is going up. The other method, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this inverter into those power poles. Then I'm gonna take my BioNO charger, plug this into the inverter. And this is a six amp charger, so we can charge a bit faster. Plug this into the battery. Now we can see the red light means we're charging. You can see the voltage is going up. We're at 13.3 volts now. And that's another way to charge off of your car. But wait, there's more. What if you wanna connect directly to your battery? Well, if you have some of these uh, alligator clip battery terminal type thingies with a power pull on the other end, you can simply connect it to the battery itself like such. Then we can connect these same devices again directly to the battery. Easy peasy. And again, same with the inverter. Power's on. Plug in our charger here. Charger's on. Plug in our battery. And now our battery's being charged. Nice thing about this, you can run a bit of extension cable and kind of get away from the car to a better operating position, a table, wherever you're at, and keep your batteries charged off of your car. Again, do keep the engine running, otherwise you're gonna kill your battery. And there you go. Love talking about batteries. I felt just, let's just keep this one about batteries. So guys, if you got questions, write me an email, k at mrd at icloud.com, put Mailbag Monday in the subject, and you might be featured on Mailbag Monday. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter at K8MRD, and we'll see you again on another episode of K8MRD Radio Stuff. 73, guys.